12. Welcome back to BT. We are talking about the, this is actually, I was horrified to hear this, Bryce, that you might be eating healthy and doing healthy things regarding your diet, but you're still going to get some belly bloat from those healthy things. It's not so much what's healthy or not healthy, it's what's right for you, right? So this is actually the new gluten-free diet. It's evolved. So a lot of folks that have tried gluten-free and realized, you know what, they're still bloating, they're still distended, it's affecting their brain. By the way, there is a brain-gut connection that's very well established now, uh, where if you're, you know, not so healthy up here, it's going to affect your gut, and certainly vice versa, where we'll talk about the right culture, the right fibers, etc. But this bloat's got a lot of people down, and they're trying to eat healthier in the new year, and they're finding by doing that, it's not really changing much. If anything's making them worse. So let's start with something called the FODMAP diet, and this is the sort of new gluten-free diet I was telling you. FODMAP, okay? But so it's brace, not a trend. Please it's tell not me a trend it's not at a trend. It's not a trend. It really works. In my clinical practice, I'm seeing so many people that have tried every other diet, and again, for bloating, for immune dysfunction, for you know, getting run down, brain fog, all those kinds of symptoms, this works really well for them. So FODMAP, okay, brace yourselves, fermentable, oligosaccharides, all right, which stands for a long chain sugar. I tried to memorize this for you, BT love. <laughs> Monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polyols. And polyols are kind of a, a sugar found in fruits and vegetables, okay. naturally occurring, that cause gas and fermenting and bloating later on down the digestive tract. So let's and explain And are these it. some of the fruits that... So fruits, vegetables, again, whether it's gluten-free or not, beans, you're know, looking at pineapple, peppers, pears, avocados, mushrooms. People are eating more of this to stay healthy, right? So, there, by the way, the good news, there are lots of lists online available. This comes from the Monash University, the best studied you know, groups of listing of these uh, foods from Australia. So look that up, the Monash University. A huge amount of fruits and vegetables and foods that don't have high FODMAPs. So once again, let's explain this. So yeah, you by got use me to of bring paper clips, I did. Clips. So that would be an oligosaccharide, a multiple sugar chain naturally occurring in fruits and vegetables and other foods, okay? Gluten-free grains or uh, gluten grains. This would be a diet disaccharide or two sugar chain okay and then a monosaccharide so this is much easier to remember FODMAP it's an acronym FODMAP diet and that would be a monosaccharide so these are short chain long chain sugars naturally occurring in healthy as well as unhealthy fruits, so, and, fruits and vegetables and other foods so you want to avoid them and the point is this try avoidance for six weeks of high FODMAP foods then bring them back in and determine the difference because if you ultimately have been blown and distended and just feel run down from FODMAPs, it's going to change your life. I'm going to be honest and say I have had some problems in the last few years mm -hmm. with bloating, looking like five months pregnant. Mm -hmm. Fiber? Right. So a lot of people are doing this wrong. So there's two general types of fiber, and then there's mixes. There's soluble and there's insoluble. All right? Most folks know about insoluble. It's not being absorbed. So let's try this experiment. We'll have a little race here. Okay. You've got the insoluble, and that's psyllium. Okay? There's also acacia gum. There's flaxseed. I've got soluble. So let's mix that around. Best Mine's we can. floating on the top. Do your best. So basically, that's the point. It's not soluble. It's a glumpy, gloopy kind of mess. Now, some people need this. Most people have experimented with this. Why would someone need it? Well, it's a bulking fiber. So if right. they have diarrhea, loose stools, but again, sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes this fiber gives you the exact symptoms you're trying to avoid, right? So would you if would you do the elimination process so what with I, this I as well? I would also experiment. I would I'd experiment with insoluble fiber. So you've got the flax seeds of the world. You've got the psyllium husk, the acacia gum. Those are widely available. And then the soluble fibers of the world. This is guar bean extract. It's one of my favorites. And this one's available as regular girl. So in about 10 minutes, that's totally going to disappear. And it's tasteless, odorless. You can mix it into salad. It's a regulating fiber, but experiment. Determine if this is the kind of fiber you feel well from or it bloats you. Determine if this is the right fiber for you. It's an experiment. Let's really okay? quickly talk about probiotics before we wrap there this up. There is a strain and species for everything. I want folks to remember a couple of things. Most importantly, dose is very important, but strain and species. There's so many indications for different things. So let's go through a few. This, this stuff called BioGaia, this is for infants, for colic, multiple human clinical tr uh, trials showing that's very effective for colic, vaginal infections, yeast infections. This is after you take antibiotics at this time of year. Women have these infections. By the way, if anyone's taken a course of antibiotics, please, please take a course of probiotics. This one is one of my favorites uh, around right now available in health food stores, Innovite. So this has got the highest potency HN019 immunity strain to boost our immune systems right now and some regularity strains, some absorption strain strains that help absorb food better. So the message there really is make sure you're taking the right probiotics. Sure Thank you so much. we got to get to yeah, break. Yeah, my pleasure. Uh, this is all going up online if you want more information, but we're going to get right back to the weather situation outside. Snow's Ooh. coming, Bryce. How